Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, we are doing a classic full face of first impressions and there are so many products today that I am just so excited to get on my face. And there's a lot to try out, so uh, let's just dive straight in. Why not? Let's go. Guys, do you have any idea what this is and do you have any idea how excited I am about this? This is supposed to be an insane dupe for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I love, but it's from Primark and it was £4.50. It's got the same kind of packaging. Does it have the, oh God, same kind of smell? Looks the same. It has a similar smell. It's not exactly the same, but oh my God, I love this stuff. I recently got a like original Bobbi Brown one of these and I just bloody love it. So let's try this out. Oh my God, I haven't even put my headband on yet. Wait, I will, I will, I promise. So this is called the Prep and Protect Vitamin Enriched Moisturizing Primer. And this really does feel like a moisturizer. You guys know when it comes to primers, I like, I typically do just like moisturizers. I feel like they work really well on my skin. I feel like with powder and setting spray and everything like that, it doesn't ever interfere with the longevity of my makeup. Doesn't feel as rich as the Bobbi Brown one, but the Bobbi Brown one is like 40 pounds. That one's like a 10th of the price but it does feel good. Feels like a nice thick moisturizer. It's giving me a nice glow. So far so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited I got this. I couldn't find it anywhere for months. And then I went into my local Primark the other day just to pick up some knickers and there it was. And I was like, oh. Okay, headband, headband, headband. Ow, ow, we in? So now we're gonna move on to foundation and this portion of the video is actually sponsored, but this isn't quite a first impressions. I'm gonna use a different color to what I tried before. So it kind of is, kind of isn't, but this foundation is bomb. It's a new one from She Glam and they sent over this big PR box. Look how cute this is. It's called the Skinfluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. Looks like this. I actually bought this myself a little while ago and the color wasn't quite right. So we're gonna try something a little bit different now. I think I'm gonna try the shade sand because I kind of want to match my face to my body a little bit. But these foundations here come in 30 different shades and they have like a hydrating but matte finish, but it's not too matte. You guys will see in a sec. And this foundation balm here, I'm gonna put on screen like the conversion in pounds, but this costs $8.49. So it's super affordable. And She Glam have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys. I'll put it on screen and it will get you 15% off the She Glam website. And apparently you can use this as a concealer as well. You can also use it as a contour, like a cream bronzer, which I don't know why I didn't think of doing, but they've sent me a few deeper shades as well. So I might do that in a sec. But this stuff, are you ready? Hello, macro camera is like super full coverage. Let's see, let's see what this color's like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And you can apply it using like whatever you want. You can use a brush, a sponge, your fingers. But I'm gonna try it with this brush. Literally look at that. You guys know I love a full coverage base. I've tried to love the whole like natural uh, natural kind of thing, makes me urge, but I can't help it. I just love a cake face. So I'm gonna go around my face here. You can see it's getting rid of my redness like instantly. Look at the difference there. Obviously I'm like quite shiny now, but you can see there's a little bit of redness on my cheek, a little bit of redness like around my nose here. It's even covered up my dark circles quite well and I barely put any of the product on there. And it feels like nothing. Genuinely, it feels like absolutely nothing on my face. It just kind of feels like a moisturizer. And normally I tend to get quite a bit of dryness around my nose, especially during the winter, but this, it just hydrates it and oh, I just love it. So obviously coverage on this side, not on this side, and it just looks like my skin, but flawless. And I love it. Bye bye red nose. I've tried a few other foundation balms before, but this one is 100% my favorite. And I'm, I'm literally not just saying that, it's genuinely so much better than all the other ones I've tried. Cause the other ones, they look nice and then you powder them down and it's just it's just a little bit off. Whereas this one, just it just looks good no matter what you do. And like I said, I haven't tried it before as a cream contour. So I'm gonna give it a little go. I'm gonna use the shade Caramel, put the bulk of the product down like that. And obviously cause it's a foundation as well, gives you coverage, like full on two in one. Coverage, bronzer, check. Go on me for it. Oh, this brush is good for contouring your nose. If you're like a lazy nose contour like me, I'm just obsessed with this. I love it. So yeah, guys, if you want to try it out for yourself, like I said, use the code on screen now to get 15% off on the She Glam website. I mean, this is affordable anyway, but we can make it even more affordable, get 15% off. So yeah, if you guys want to check this out for yourself, I'll leave all the links down below like I always do, but honestly, 
this foundation balm is insane, so good. So now for concealer, even though my under eyes are actually looking pretty good right now, I'm gonna try out this concealer here from Morphe. This is the Filter Effects Soft Radiance Concealer. I don't know if it's gone live yet. I don't think it has, but spoiler alert, I picked up a bunch of products from London the other day, and this is one of them. I, bleh, 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 remix. I got this in the shade Medium 16 Neutral, and I swatched it in the store. It looks like it might be airing on the edge of being too dark, but we're gonna try and make it work. So I'm gonna go under my eyes and do the little V shape up here. And I actually don't need any around my nose. I'm gonna do a tiny dot here on this spot. And I'm gonna go underneath with my brush here. And what does it say? It says natural finish, radiant concealer. That seems to be all it says. And I would say it does look pretty radiant. Obviously everything looks super shiny right now under my lights, but it is looking pretty good to be honest. It looks really good. Got a few little leftover spots in the middle of my forehead, so I'm just going over them. I'm just gonna block down my lips as well. This base right now is my favorite kind of base, just super full coverage, shiny as hell on camera, but in person it actually doesn't look that shiny. I am still gonna powder it down in a second though, and the powder that I have, I am so excited to try. So this is the new Laura Mercier powder. And you guys know the original Translucent Loose Powder is like my ride or die at 100%. If I could only ever use one other powder, it would be that one without a shadow of a doubt. But they brought out a new one. It's the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Ultra Blur. Does it get any better than that? Like I thought the original was pretty blurring, but I'm very, I am just, when do I ever get excited about powders? Mark it in your diaries, because today is the day I'm getting excited about a powder. So they sent it to me in the shade Translucent Honey, which is the one I tend to use from the original. Ooh, liking the packaging, very aesthetic. Like, look at that. So this says uh, it's talc free with ultra blurring power. Apparently it sets makeup for 16 hours of weightless wear with a matte soft focus finish. Ultra blurring ingredients. Says it instantly blurs away the look of pores, fine lines and imperfections with total shine control and zero photo flashback. Sweet. We've, we've got to put this on our face, haven't we? Haven't we? Yes. The answer is yes. And I have a cat hair on my face. I'm honestly so excited for this. So I'm going to apply it the same way I would my usual powder going in with a little fluffy brush and I'm going straight under the old eyeballs. I used the other translucent honey powder when I first tried um, the She Glam foundation balm and it worked really well. So I wanna see how it looks with this. The under eyes are looking good. Look at that. The under eyes are looking really good. Oh my God. It's made everything look so soft and like airbrushed. I don't think I've ever gotten so excited about a powder. This is really good. Okay, I'm doing this a little back to front for me normally because normally I like to do my brows first, but I forgot because I was too excited to put all the other things on my face. This is the Morphe Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shape, Shaking Wax, Shaping Wax. And this is in the shade Clear. So it's just this little tub and it's kind of like an ABH brow freeze kind of situation. You've all seen me do my brows like 8 million times at this point. So I'm gonna do my usual, taking it on a spoolie and then I'm just gonna brush them through and fluff them up a bit. Ooh, it's got grip to it. I normally do my brows like this before I do my foundation, so hopefully this works. Just going through my brows. Oh my God, that has like, I, I still do like it. I used to love the ABH Brow Freeze, but it doesn't have this to it. Like it doesn't grip my brows enough. It doesn't keep them up enough. This is doing what I always wanted brow freeze to do. Like it's literally just freezing my brows in place. You guys see? And there's no residue or anything on them. Oh, I love it when I do a full face of first impressions and the base just looks banging. That's great. That's really good. So now even though I'm airing on the edge of being, there's so much powder on my top right now. Start that again. So even though I'm airing on the edge of being slightly too bronzed right now, I've got to try a new bronzer. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Matte Bronzer. And I got this in the shade Light Medium. I always struggle to find new bronzers to try. And when I realized I've not tried this one out, I was just like, yoink. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just test it out on my little cheeks. I cleaned my brushes yesterday. 
with the, I use the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and my brushes literally smell like vanilla ice cream. It's kind of weird, but I also kind of love it because every time I'm doing this, I'm like, hmm, ice cream, yum. Okay. That is actually a bit more sculpting than I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit more cool toned than I expected it to be, but it's not, it isn't cool toned. It's just, I was expecting it to be a little bit more warmer but it's actually quite nice as like a subtle contour. It's one of those bronzers you can use as contour and bronzer at the same time. Oh, we're having a good day today, aren't we? Are you having a good day? I hope you're, if you, I hope you're having a good day. Hopefully, if you're not having a good day, your day gets better. I am, I'm, I'm a mess. Let's go down my neck a touch. Yeah, I'll definitely be using this again. It's nice, actually. I'm into it. So now I'm gonna go in with a blush. This one here is from Trigwell Cosmetics. If you guys don't know, they do, wherever they are, wherever I put them. These puffs here, which are insane. If you guys haven't tried them, they're honestly so good. Like so many people talk about them. They are very, very hyped up at the moment, but they are 100% worth it. And they also do a couple of makeup products as well. So I've got the cheek and eye blush. And I'm gonna use this in the shade Strawberry Lemonade because I've heard quite a bit about this one. Take a bit of that. Let me just, let me just swatch it for you quickly. It's like a nice peachy kind of shade. It's actually not too pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with a fairly heavy hand. Okay. I paused because I think I like what I'm seeing. This looks like a genuine blush. Does that make sense? It like, it looks like I genuinely have that color in my skin. It doesn't look like a big stripe of pink down the side of my face, which don't get me wrong. Sometimes I like a stripe of pink on my face, but this is just giving me a little pop of something. It's subtle, but it's blending out nicely. That looks really pretty. And uh, they do like five shades or something as well. It's around about five shades. I get the hype with this one. That's such a pretty blush. And I wouldn't normally go for this kind of shade. It's a little bit, I don't know if it's showing up on camera fully, but it's a bit more like bright in person, but it looks really good and there's no shimmer to it. It looks completely matte, but it doesn't look dry at all. And guys, Trigwell is a smaller business. So you know how I feel about small businesses. I love them and they have so many cool products, just like in general, small businesses. I feel like most like big companies, like umbrella companies, I love them, love loads of their products, but I feel like they're just not stepping out of like the comfort zone. They're like, they're like in the square. And I want people to like step out that square a little bit and do something a little bit weird, a little bit different. And um, I mean, I know it's only a blush. I'm only talking about a blush here, but well, I just love a small business. So check them out. So next I am going in with a cream highlighter stick. So this is from Fenty and I've tried out one of their sticks before for like contour and like the matte highlighting, like the banana kind of stick. But this is one of their shimmer sticks and it's in the shade ice cream. But I thought I'd just show you guys what this looks like. So you can see the shine there. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with my finger, just to get some of that on there. And I'm just gonna tap it in and see what it looks like doing that. Let's go in with the brush. I just wanna make sure it warms to my skin enough. Oh, there it is. Before anything sets, I just wanna make sure it is just tapped in with the rest of my base. There it is. There she freaking is. It looks quite nice actually. It's more subtle than like my usual super intense, shiny metallic cheekbone, but it's actually quite pretty. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be trading in my shimmer powder highlighters for something like this. It's blending out quite nicely as well, and you can see it just gives your skin a bit of a wet look. A little bit up there, blend, blend, blend. I'm just gonna apply it straight to my brush instead and see what we can do with that. Let's do a little bit on the nose. Hopefully that's in the middle. Yeah, so it blends out quite nicely as well. That's actually quite pretty. Like I said, like this isn't my kind of product typically, but I get it. It's a nice highlighter. It's cool, it's good on the go and they look bloody nice. So yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Now let's move on to another product that I have just been so excited to try out. It's the new setting spray from Laura Mercier to go with the new powder. So this is called the Translucent Pure Setting Spray at 16 hour. And I'm sat here thinking, listen, if Laura Mercier can do the most amazing powder in the world, they can probably do a pretty damn good setting spray as well. Packaging is really, really cute. I love this like, pinky neutral aesthetic they're going for at the moment. Um, what does it say? Alcohol free. 16 hour, do not spray into eyes, okay. So there's no tightness, no sticky feeling, and no smudging. So let's give this a shake and there we go, whack it on. 
Ugh. I'm being attacked. Maybe it needs to be sprayed a couple of times. It's a pretty intense spray, like to begin with, so I'm gonna have to do this quite far away. Ugh. Don't know how I feel about the spray. I feel like I'm being like slightly gently misted, but also every so often there's like a and I'm like, oh God, see then? <laughs> Feels like I'm in like a little water park or something, like a little kid's water park and I don't know, it's on my face. Let's just let it chill out for a second and we'll see how it looks in a sec. Not 100% on the spray. Like, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this at all without me like covering anything in. Like, okay, I'm gonna hide my face so it focuses. Can you guys see like the two streams of spray ready? You probably can't, but um, yeah, it's like it shoots out and then it becomes a mist. Yeah, not sure in the actual spray nozzle, but we'll see what it looks like in a second. What should we do next? Let's do the lips, mostly because I'm dying to try this out. So this is the Refai Lip Sculpt. I think I've tried everything from Refai at this point, but the only thing I haven't tried is their Lip Sculpt, and apparently it's like one of the most amazing products. So I got this in the shade Blush. And if you guys don't know, you basically have a lip liner on the top, and then you have like a sealant in the bottom. So I'm gonna fill in my lips with that. It's quite a waxy formula, which probably means it's not gonna budge. I'm gonna cover my lips in this as well. That's a good color. That's very much a me color at the moment. I need to do a wear test on these because apparently they last for like, I think it's like 16 hours or something. Yeah, they're really nice to apply and I like the packaging as well because it's just like, it's just nice to hold. Just feels like, feels sturdy in my hand. Yeah, they are pretty waxy lip liners. So if you have dry lips, I would say maybe use like a balm or something underneath. But that does mean that they're probably gonna be a lot more long wearing. It feels like it's gonna be pretty long wearing anyway. So now I'm gonna go in with the, whatever it's called, like the stuff in the bottom that's apparently like supposed to fix it. They do also do a gloss. You guys know I'm not really much of a gloss girl, so I thought I would just try this. Oh. It feels like, almost like a silicone-y primer. Okay, I'm gonna curve my lips in this. And I'm just gonna blend that out. So it's completely clear and it's supposed to be just like, a kind of top coat that, oh, I was expecting there to be some sort of product on my lips. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down and then we'll do a little kiss test in a second. I'll just like make out with my hand for a minute or whatever. Color's good though. Big fan of the color. This is a full on me kind of shade. So now I've got a little bit of Cash Beauty to try out. They recently sent me one of their new collections. This is the Midnight Metals palette. Mmm, this lip product feels good, you know. It doesn't feel matte or anything. I, I'm quite confused. There's literally nothing coming off my lips right now. Should we just have like a little like makeup session, like full on Bart Simpson? Mm -hmm. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, this is the Midnight Metals palette from Cash Beauty. Loving the packaging. Oh my God. These are my freaking tones. That color here is literally all I want on my eye all the time. So there are two shimmers. We've got this like chrome shade here, which literally looks like glitter flakes, but oh my God, look at that. You have smashed that. Ah! I don't even know what I sounded like then, but I'm just, oh, I'm so excited about this. I didn't know what to expect from the colors, um, but I'm a very happy girl. I also have these liquid crystal eyeshadow trios from Beauty Base from their new collection, like the Christmas one. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put one of those over the top. So let's have a little look at those. There's three shades. Oh my God, I've already seen. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, this one is really pretty. It's just like a silvery kind of like gunmetal glitter. But I think I've got to try out one of these two. Cause look at that. I might go for this one up here. Cause I feel like it'll go really well with the cool tones. I love that there's a mirror in this palette as well because it's a pretty small, thin palette, but you've still got a really nice sort of like full size mirror in there. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Ignite and I'm just gonna do a standard kind of smoky eye, trying out a few of these shades and then we'll chuck one of those Beauty Bay colors all over the top. So I'm probably gonna whiz through this quite quickly because I'm sure you guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm using Ignite as the transition shade just in my crease and just making sure I blend that out a bit. That is blending out really, really easily. I've been loving a bit of a halo eye recently, so I might do something like that. I might change it when I put on the um, like the liquid eyeshadow, but I'm gonna take the shade Stone, and I like to just concentrate the color on my outer corner for a minute. So I basically just like to build up the actual shape, 
leaving the center of my lid bare just so I can put a shimmer or something in there in a second. That color is sick. Really pigmented as well. It's like just off of being black, which I really, really like. Cause sometimes I don't want a full black eye look. I'm just gonna shade that. Like I'm basically working that around my crease. So it's blending it into my transition, but I'm also laying down the color on this side with my brush. And then focus some of that on the inner corner. I'm literally just going around my crease like this for a minute. I used to find halo eyes quite difficult until I basically just learned how to do that. I mean, that, that just looks good anyway. Take a little bit more of that Ignite shade, just towel off the excess, just so I can blend the edges of that. I don't want to over blend it. I want to try and keep it just outside of my crease. Cash Beauty is another brand that, I mean, they're, they're killing it. Don't get me wrong. They are obviously a slightly smaller brand. So go show them some love as well because they literally do so many good products. Get that right into my socket there. I love that color. I've been using one of the shades from the KVD um, Shade and Light like eye contour palette, but I didn't realize that actually that palette is like no longer around and the color's like a little bit more browny than this one, but I actually prefer this. So I'll definitely be using this for like my day-to-day -day smoky kind of eye look. Cause it's literally got all of the colors that I need. Do some little flicks outwards just to blend that out a bit. I'm then gonna take a little bit of antique. I mean, like I said, I'm probably gonna cover this up in a minute, but I do just wanna try out as many of the colors as I can. So this is one of the shimmers and this looks really nice. I'm not normally like a bronzy kind of gal, but that's a really, really nice color. And the shimmer is really, really nice as well. It's not, it's not chunky. It's just nice. What can I say? It's just bloody nice. Just softening that up with a little bit more of that stone shade. Oh, hello. Might even tap a little bit of that um, chrome shade. I'm gonna use my finger on the center as well. Again, I am gonna cover this up in a minute. I'm so sorry, but I just wanna see. I wanna try it all out. This is stunning. I kinda wish I wasn't gonna cover this up because that is literally, if you're a bit of like a goth, like old emo-y kind of girl like me, I know that you love a smoky eye and this, you could go like anywhere with a smoky eye like this and just put some glitter on and be like, it's festive. I'm in the spirit of Christmas. I'm wearing glitter. That is incredible. And it applies really easily as well. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, let's try out one of these guys from Beauty Bay. So we have Labradorite and then we have Appetite. I'm thinking, I kind of feel like this is the shade I want to use. Let's have a little swatch. Holy shit. Like, I want to show you guys all the colors in this. Look at that. Okay, now I'm curious about the other one. I'm going to do the other one as well. I'm curious about all of them. I'm going to swatch them all. Okay, so this is freaking stunning. Dark purple to all these different shades of blue to something a bit more muted. These are incredible. I could just look at these sort of things all day. And then we have this one, which is selenite, which is more of like a glitter, I think. Okay, so this one, it doesn't seem to be duochrome. It is just more of like a glittery shimmer silver. Still love the look of that. It's got like hints of bronze in it. Which one do I use? Ollie, which one do I use? Look at these two. There's three. I know, but the, one, the two colorful ones. Look how cool they are. Green. Green. Right, Ollie's voted for green. Okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm hoping this works over the shimmer. I'm gonna apply this straight over the center of my lid. I already love this. And I'm just gonna pat that down with this little flat brush. Oh, oh my God, look at my multicolored eyes right now. Let's take more on the brush. So you are gonna be able to see obviously a couple of the specks of like the shimmery glitter through, but okay, it needs to be blended, but look at that color on my lid. I'm just gonna do some like little wiggles so you guys can see the color. That is mental. And my halo eye is now turning into just a shimmery smoky eye. My bad. I've seen like liquid eyeshadows that kind of look like this, but they never actually look like this on the eye. This is one of the best I think I've probably ever seen. And they're, they're lightweight and they're thin in consistency. So you can do like a little cut crease if you wanna do that. You can blend them out. I, I like everything that I've tried today pretty much so far, but that is just insane. I'm gonna go around my crease a little bit here and then go slightly over the edge with my Cash Beauty palette. 
just to blend those two together. I bet that as just a liner would look insane as well. I am so in love with this. I now feel a little bit bad about covering up that chrome shade from Cash Beauty. So I'm gonna take some of that on a super tiny brush and just pat that right on the inner corner. I like that these shadows work with your brush as well. Cause sometimes you just have to use your finger for these, but sometimes I don't want to. I'm very, very happy with this. I am freaking stoked by this. I don't know if you can get these like individually, but either way, I mean, Beauty Bay products are super affordable anyway. These are stunning, like genuinely so freaking stunning. I can't quite get over it. I love them. I'm now gonna take another product from Cash Beauty. This is one of their new liner pencils. So they have a few shades. They have like a black one, a nude one, and like a brownie colored one. I love a brownie liner at the moment. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, it looks, Oh, that's a really good color. Nice and cool toned. And I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line. That applied really nicely. I'm also gonna do a little bit of tight lining with it. This whole bit always freaks me out. I feel like I'm about to just like detach my retinas or something. That's a good pencil. I don't have too much to say about this, but that is a good pencil. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with one of the Huda Beauty Lifeliner Quick and Easy. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the brown shade. It's called Very Brown and it's very brown. So this is just a felt tip liner and it looks pretty great. So I'm gonna do a tiny little wing here. Just drag that out like so. I've been using the Urban Decay, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a little brow pen with a pencil on the end. And I've been using that for my wing recently. But this, I can already tell is so much easier. Don't get me wrong, the Urban Decay brow pencil is actually really, really good for creating a wing, but this one is just a lot more pigmented. Just love a brown liner. Now for mascara, I'm going in with the new one from About Face, which I've been dying to get my hands on. And they actually recently sent this to me in PR, so I was very excited. It's got a conical wand, if I just put it, mm, cover my face, I'm doing it one handed now. So you guys can see it just there. Sorry, terrible demonstration there. But it's a plastic conical wand, which I normally love. Now I believe this is the first mascara that About Face have done. And it's great. It's super black. It's picking up loads of my lashes and kind of making them look a little bit spidery, but I mean that in a good way. Obviously, if you don't like spidery lashes at all, then you probably won't like this. But for me, this has given me enough definition. It's given me a little bit of bulk to my lashes. It's making them look long, super black, and yeah, just like a little bit spidery, a little bit grungy. I love this look so far. I'm obsessed. Do a tiny bit on my lower lash line, just so I don't look like a little naked mole rat. Look at those bottom lashes. Okay, right guys. I think uh, we all know by this point that I'm very excited about how this happened. I'm just very excited about how this is all turning out. So you guys know the drill. I'm gonna go off camera, do my other eye. I might also smoke out my lower lash line a little bit, maybe with that stone shade. And I'm also gonna apply these Beauty Bay false eyelashes. They are in the style flicker. Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it said, uh, there is, there's something else there. But yeah, these are the Beauty Bay lashes. They're like really nice and elongated on the outer corner. So I'm gonna do the other eye, pop those bad boys on, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. I haven't been this excited about an end result in a really, really long time. See you in a sec. Hello again. Okay, so this is the finished look. And as you can probably expect, I am obsessed with this. I love this so much. I don't think there's anything I didn't like to be quite honest with you. The eye look I am freaking obsessed with. I love this green and I'm 100% gonna give this a go as well soon because I just love how this looks on the eyes. It's so opaque, so easy to use. Beauty Bay, you absolutely smashed it with this. And also the lashes. These lashes is Beauty Bay. It's gonna be affordable and these are insane. These feel so good, so like almost like real and they're really easy to apply. But honestly, I don't really think there was anything I didn't like today. I feel like the thing I just wasn't as impressed by was the Fenty highlighter, but I still liked it. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not my usual go-to kind of highlighter, but I still liked it. The lipstick, I have just eaten some beans on toast because our fridge is just like, it, it has nothing in right now. So I've just eaten some beans on toast and my lipstick has stayed on so well. It feels absolutely fine. Doesn't really feel like much on my lips at all. And again, it's like, it's completely staying. 
Like, there's nothing that's coming off. I freaking love the foundation. Like I said, I've tried it before, but I honestly love the foundation with everything else that I checked on my face today. So again, if you guys do wanna check it out for yourself, then you can use the code that I'll put on screen now that will get you 15% off the She Glam website. And since this wasn't quite a first impressions of the foundation balm, I can actually tell you guys how this stuff wears. This wears so well. That's why I'm working with them, because honestly, this foundation, this guy here, it's just great. The best foundation balm I have ever tried. Genuinely, 100%, don't care. Even if I wasn't working with them, I would say that. It's really, really good. So um, yeah, it wears really, really nicely throughout the day. It's hydrating, but it's also not shiny or greasy or anything like that. It's just really, really good. And to be honest, like I said, pretty much everything I tried today was bang on. So as always, I'll leave all the links to all the products that I featured in today's video down below. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look down below. But anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here for today. Like I said, make sure you use the code if you wanna save 15% off on She Glam. Click all the links down below if there's anything, I just spat everywhere. Click the links down below if there's anything you guys wanna check out. And I think that's kind of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time but apart from that guys that is it from me i love you i feel like i've been speaking at like 2000 miles an hour right now but i love you okay let's let's have a little like communal hug mm. anyway guys i'm gonna leave it here i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye